Hey you guys, what is up? And welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna get into a sort of kind of different video than what I've obviously put out. We're gonna do an Amazon fitness favorites video. And I guess this came to me because I've been spending money like it's nobody's business and my wallet is crying, but that's okay. Um, you have to do that for yourself sometimes. And I know throughout the year, I'm always like picking up little gym essentials anyways. And then with getting a new studio and whatnot, I've picked up so much fitness things from Amazon that I'm actually obsessed with it. I'm so happy that I got. So I figured why not share some of my favorites. We're gonna talk a little bit about workout clothes and some of the favorite things that I have bought throughout like the last few years even that I know are still on Amazon. And I will provide you the links for all of these things down below. So if you're interested in any of them, you could just click below and purchase it really, really quick for yourself if they have it in stock. Um, but we're also gonna touch on workout equipment. My favorite body weight scales or like my favorite smart scales that I usually recommend to my clients and also supplies if you have your own gym or if you work out at home and you just wanna grab some stuff for yourself or extra things for the gym, wh whatever your situation is. We're also gonna to touch on my favorite high protein foods because I am such a slut for high protein snacks, especially off of Amazon, cause I'm like, I always forget that I'm running out. And then I'm like, holy shit, I need these in like two days because I'm addicted to these things. So I'll tell you guys about some of my favorite ones that I just keep reordering, reordering, reordering. And then we're also gonna touch on my favorite supplements that I buy from Amazon. I'm gonna include the chapters in here. So whatever you don't feel like watching, especially maybe the first part um, when it comes to clothes, maybe if it doesn't pertain to you, cause a lot of these things are gonna be like tank tops um, and whatnot, then you could just skip ahead to whatever chapter you feel like looking at the most. But I think the equipment and supplies and body weight scales is probably gonna be my favorite section because I've got so much stuff from there. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, all the links will be included for you below. So it'll make shopping for either yourself or someone else really, really easy. Okay, so in terms of clothes, I am a big fan of purchasing tank tops and sports bras on Amazon. For some reason with the pants, I just haven't really, I guess found or really even tried to find pants that work with me from Amazon. Um, I just prefer to like go on Alphaly and buy the pants there or like go on Gymshark and buy those pants because I feel like they typically just last longer anyways. So if you guys have found really good um, athletic leggings from Amazon and you wanna send me some links to them, I would love to try them only if you found that they're like really good quality and whatnot. So I don't know, I've just, I've just struggled to find really good leggings on Amazon. But the tank tops and the sports bras, I have had no problem with those. And I feel like every one that I get, I'm, I'm in love with and I have it for like ever. So about like two years ago, me and my sister found these crop tops right here, this Mippo workout crop top. I don't know what some of these brands are. I don't think any of us know what most of these brands are, especially when it comes to athletic wear. But I purchased this tank and I was obsessed with it right off the get-go because I like when my tank tops like cover my traps here. I'm literally the epitome of of like I worked out to get a bigger ass and my traps grew enormously. <laughs> so I typically don't wear a lot of tank tops like this um, just because I like to cover my traps a little bit, but I'm not opposed to it, whatever. That's why I have one on today. And I will talk about this top because this is also from Amazon. But this crop top was seriously my favorite. It's like a really great material. It doesn't shrink very fast. Um, if you just like throw it in the dryer, whatever it is, though I do prefer to just kind of hang this up and let it air dry. But I bought like literally six of these and they're $17 free returns and they come in all these different colors. So it's like, can you really go wrong? <laughs> um, but these are 100% my favorite tank top that I have gotten off of Amazon. All right, so I'm also pretty obsessed with this Aox jocks, AOX, J-O-X, I'm not sure what the brand is again, but it's a women's workout sports bra, fitness padded backless yoga crop top tank top twist back cami. Holy shit, okay. Um, anyways, that is what I'm wearing today. And I just love tank tops that have like the built-in pads, honestly, because I just sometimes wearing like a tank top and a bra, it's like, why don't we just kill two birds with one stone and put it all into one thing? So I have this guy on and I really like the skinny straps on it. I like the material, it's super comfy. I like the crop and I'll just stand up and give you guys a little peek. But I really like the back of it. It's a little sexy moment. And um, yeah, I feel really cute when I wear it in the gym. And I like that it's like covering all the front and it's not giving me personally for myself too much cleavage cause my boobs are definitely a little bit smaller, but it's showing off the back. And I've always been like a big mat, bat, 
a Big Mac. I do love Big Macs, but I've always been like a big back and shoulders type of girl. Like I always wanted my back to be really jacked and I thought that was so sexy. So I love this tank top and I have bought a few of these in different colors as well. So yeah, but my only advice with these is that if you're gonna wash them, which obviously you're probably going to, um, do not put them in the dryer because the material will kind of get pilly. And I have made that mistake being really lazy before. So it's much better if you could like air dry them, hang them up somewhere, whatever the deal is. So I really don't know any other brands on Amazon because they all seem very illegitimate, <laughs> but this is like the one brand that I actually feel like has some like backing, if you will. Um, it's very much so a Lululemon dupe and any of the bras that I've purchased from this company or like any of the clothes I've purchased from this company have actually really impressed me. Like I just said, like I really like like an open back, like sexy moment. So any of these bras with this crisscross back, I've been pretty obsessed with that I've gotten from here. Um, and I will show you guys the exact one that I got if I could find it. Okay, here we go. Um, so I'm also a fan of bras that like, they're not long line and they just kind of stop right underneath the boob. I just feel like it looks a lot better on me but my sister loves more of like a long line one. But I have found that this bra right here, and I will link the other bras just so you guys can take a look at them too. But I really, really like this one and I like the way it fit. I like how thick the straps were and it's just perfect for like my body type. And it really is, like I said, like a Lululemon dupe. There's not much pilling that happens to it and it's really lasted me a long time. So I bought like two or three of these ones. Um, but like I said, any of the ones from this brand are actually pretty good. And again, it's like free returns with Amazon Prime. So it's like, you really can't go wrong. Okay guys, so getting into some of the equipment that I purchased from Amazon for my studio, um, my old and my new studio, we're gonna start with the mats because I feel like the mats are just a staple, whether you have a gym or you're working out at home regardless. I love this balance form. Oh wait, balance from all purpose, one fourth inch high density mat. I'm not gonna say the full title on a lot of these because it's just way too much, but um, I thought these mats were really great. They were kind of like a yoga mat and they weren't too thick, but they lasted me a pretty long time. The only thing about them is that they actually do tear. <laughs> they, they don't tear in half necessarily, but like if you're using sneakers on them and there's friction, the little pads or like the little rubber kind of like bubbles on them do start to tear off. But I had these for like probably over six months before I really just looked at it and I was like, eh, you're kind of ugly. And I wanted to get a new one, especially like for my space when I'm using it with clients. So otherwise, I think if you're using this at home and you especially do not care how it looks and you just need it to work for you, this is a really good purchase for like an at-home mat that's not too thick that you could actually balance on. Um, a lot of the thicker ones, it's just too hard to do much on. And like, I feel like even doing planks on them sometimes is a lot. So I like a thin mat. So if you guys are into that too, this is definitely a good one for you. Okay, so lifting gloves. I personally do not use them. I don't mind getting like a little callus stuff and I like chalk a lot. And I will show you guys my favorite chalk that I found on here that I feel like you could easily take to the gym as well, especially like if your gym's like, ah, no mess, blah, blah, blah. This chalk is definitely no mess. I will get to that later. But my sister loves wearing gloves and she literally feels like the almighty powerful God when she puts them on and she will not work out without them. So she uses these Ihan or whatever it is, breathable weightlifting gloves. And I have tried them before and I will admit that I really like them and they're only $12.99. So it's like, oh, and look at this. We got a 5% coupon. Oh, okay, we're not signed in. Whatever, screw you. Um, but I love that when you go on Amazon and they randomly give you a five or 10% off coupon. I'm like, sure, why not? But these are actually really good gloves and they last my sister for forever. And you're also able to wash them, which she has before. Cause you know how, if you wear gloves, you know how gloves are. They get kind of smelly after a little while from being like all sweaty, but for $13, you really cannot go wrong. And they last you a really long time. Okay, onto the next. I love my Har Binger. I think it's Har Binger or Har Bing Binger, possibly. Um, weightlifting straps. Uh, they're cotton and they're padded and I actually have them here and like they're very much so worn out. But I've had these for like, I think over two years now. And I love that they're padded. You literally put it on. And if you have problems like me with like your grip, 
you put this baby on, you wrap it around like the dumbbell or the barbell and you self tighten it. And they just help so freaking much. Like, especially if you're, you don't want your limiting factor in like, say like your RDL, like you're trying to burn out your hamstrings, but your hands give out quicker. These are a game changer. And again, these are only $10 and they come in like different designs for you if you want, whatever it is. So in my opinion, just like really can't go wrong. And I've had these for years and I have washed them and they've been fine. And I also use them with my clients. So they're really, really worn. Okay. So the chalk, this is literally, I like use chalk no matter what. I don't know if anyone can relate to that, but I'll be doing like a push up on the ground and I'm like, I need chalk. It'll help so much. So this is like my superpower thing. And I think that they do have smaller sizes of this that you could like kind of just clip onto your gym bag. But I use this in my studio and I'm obsessed with it. And it lasts so much longer than like grabbing the chalk and like go be the one that you see in the gym and like rubbing that onto your hands. Like I, when I use that chalk, I basically have to re up every, after every set. But with this one, I put this on, I put like a, like a, a little bit more than like a dime size, like maybe like a nickel size on my hand, rub it into the palm. It smells like fruity pebbles. So that's another perk and it's very clean. It does not make a mess at all. Like it barely transfers. And I, I don't reapply for my whole workout. Like my hands are pretty good unless I'm feeling extra sweaty. Um, so I don't know. I just love this. It's like $18. I feel like it used to be cheaper, but I guess everything's a little more expensive, but this is just my favorite chalk and you just cannot go wrong with it. Like I said, I think they do come with smaller ones that you can kind of strap onto your bag or put into your gym bag. So this is always a really good alternative. If you don't want to wear gloves and you like to like kind of callous up a little bit like me, and you still want to use chalk at the gym, even though your gym's kind of fussy about it. Um, so next I have these power guidance tricep pull down attachments. Um, I got like a cable machine and I could leave the link for this. I'm not affiliated with them at all, but it's called um, Anchor. So it's just like a single cable system that you could put onto like your squat rack and it is amazing. I love it so much. And I think it's so worth the price of what it is. And it does come with a little cable attachment, but I didn't have all these other ones, like the, like the little V bar. I didn't have the ropes or like, um, the straight bar, or the other kind of V bar. Um, so I don't know, you could use these for so many different things. And I guess there's actually like even different ones that they offer as well. I just got this pack right here and it was $55, but it was I guess that's 20% off, but it was so worth the price that I got it because I use them every single day, either with myself or with my clients. So if you guys um, need a cable system and you don't want to spend a fortune, I will put the link for the anchor system below as well, which I think is a decent price for a cable system. Cause if you look at other ones, very expensive. Um, and it could hook right onto, I don't even think you need um, a rack to put it onto, but if you have one, that's even better. And then these cable attachments really do it all for me. So I love these so much. Okay, so when it comes to body fat scales, a lot of them can be kind of pricey, like a, a nice smart scale. But I do typically recommend this Renfo Wi-Fi bathroom scale. Um, for my clients, it's literally usually ranging between 30 to $45 because you could a lot of times get like a little sale, like here's a $5 off coupon with this. And it just really does so much. Like it tells you all the metrics that you need. Like it says your body, your BMI, your body fat, your fat-free body weight, um, skeletal mass, visceral fat, which is really cool. And like though these things are not completely accurate, they do a really good job. Like for $45, you can't beat it. Like just having those things in your back pocket and like going on the scale, like if you're on a weight weight loss journey or like a fat loss journey and you see that your body fat on this scale is going down it, it is going down maybe it's not that exact perfect number that it's giving you but to see it go down and be able to track that progress and like see your lean muscle mass increase or your visceral fat go down is awesome so this is seriously one of the best bang for your bucks and i always recommend this to my clients and i love it i also do like the withing scale um and i have that on my uh for myself and i got mine at like um bed bath and beyond i think but you can get it off amazon as well it's just a pricier scale and i feel like honestly the app that comes with this one is just is, is a little bit better and i don't feel like there's much of a difference in terms of like um the the accuracy of the product so this is always like a really cool scale to get if you don't have one currently okay so next we're going to talk about my favorite high protein snacks that i get on amazon regularly I don't know if you can consider this first one like a snack, though it is for me. It's literally like the pre-meal to my actual meal. Like if I'm coming home from the gym, I literally drink this in three seconds and then I have my full meal because this would never satisfy me. But um, 
I love the Core Power Elite High Protein Shakes. For 42 grams of protein, this is so worth $35 for 12 of them in my opinion. Like I usually drink one every day, two if I absolutely need to and like my nutrition is trash and I haven't been able to eat what I need to eat protein wise. But I just think it tastes so freaking good. Even the really high protein ones, at first I was nervous that they weren't gonna taste the same as like the 26 ones that are so, super creamy and chocolatey. But this is fantastic. The vanilla ones are good, the chocolate ones are good. If you guys haven't tried these yet, which I feel like a lot of people have because they're just so popular, you need to try these. And you'll probably get a subscription and then save a little bit money because it's just, it's just so freaking good. And 42 grams of protein, like hell yeah. And it saves you so much time over buying like protein powder, which I know is more cost efficient, but it's always time versus money. So yeah. So this is definitely my favorite. My second favorite are these, I call them barbells because I just can't unsee the word barbell, but they're called bear bells, whatever, that's up to them. <laughs> um, but I love these bear bell protein bars. They have so many different flavors, but I personally love the creamy crisp ones the best. They're giving, they're giving Milky Way. Um, but if you guys like Snickers, um, the salty peanut ones are really good. The variety pack is awesome because all those flavors are delicious. But literally, I like every single flavor that's on here. I never tried the plant-based ones, though, I will say that. Um, so I never had the plant-based salty peanut and hazelnut. But every other flavor I'm obsessed with. It's just my favorite is definitely the creamy crisp. Um, but these bars are fabulous, and I don't think the price is too bad on them. And they're just one of my favorite snacks to have. So I always make sure that I have like either the Fairlife protein shake on me or one of these, or sometimes I have both in one day because I like to, you know, I, I just love sweet things and I love snacks. So why not? All right. So the next one, I feel like this could get some hate. They have four stars on Amazon, so I don't know. But I really like the Legendary Foods um, protein bars. They're like the, the tasty pastry, like Pop-Tart alternative, basically. They have 20 grams of protein, which I think is really good. The only thing I'll say is like the flavor on these can be a little sketchy. Like, I, I, I don't know. I guess I just taste the fake sugar in them. But if you're eating fake sugar, most of the time you, you freaking know it's fake. Like you just, you just know the difference between a good pop tart and this guy, but no, it isn't. The brown sugar cinnamon flavor is my favorite. And if you pop it in the microwave for like four to nine seconds, it, I feel like it makes the flavor taste better. And I don't know, I just I just think these are really, really good. And if you ever come across, I'll, I'll link the sweet rolls down below too, but the sweet rolls are also really good. They're better as well if you pop them in the microwave for a second. So yeah, these are my favorite currently. Protein, bar the barbell, bear bell ones will always be my favorite, but these are my second favorite. Last but not least, I am currently obsessed with the Magic Spoon cereal. Um, all of these flavors are so good. The frosted ones and the fruity ones are definitely my favorite ones. The frosted is just like, I don't know, it's so delicious, but I, I missed cereal in my diet so much. So the fact that there's like 13 grams of protein, I usually have two servings with them, some skim milk. So that usually gets me to like 13 plus 13, we got, 26, no, 13 plus 13, we got like 36 and then like nine grams. So like 45 grams of protein to start your morning and it, it's really not bad. The only thing I will say is that the cereal gets stuck in your teeth a lot. So like, you know, there's probably like 10 grams of protein in your teeth before you're actually finished with this. So just make sure you get it all out before you like brush your teeth or whatever it is. But I think that this is the best high protein cereal. If you guys think differently, link one below for me or like tell me about it. I'd love to, I love trying snacks and new protein foods. It's like literally my favorite thing. My clients always bring me in new little snacks. So if you guys have anything else that you like, let me know. But so far, this is definitely my favorite. The only complaint I have literally is that it gets stuck in your teeth. But I think the flavor is chef's kiss for a high protein cereal. Okay, and last but not least, I know these guys have been around, but if you haven't tried them yet and like you see them at a store or you wanna get like a bigger box off Amazon because they're really not that expensive on here, the Power Crunch bars are so freaking good. It's upsetting that they only have 13 grams of protein, but if you guys want like a nice yummy snack before bed and you want to fulfill that need for something really sweet that almost feels like candy, Power Crunch, I think is definitely the way to go. Oh, the chocolate mint ones are great. The vanilla ones are great. The peanut butter ones, like I just like, I love every flavor. I don't know if I'm, I'm like suddenly realizing that I really just love everything. So maybe it's just me and I'm not picky at all. Um, 
But I think if you had to stick with the flavor on be on the safe side, the French vanilla ones are really good and so are the peanut butter ones. Okay guys, and last but not least, my three favorite supplements that I've currently been getting a lot off of Amazon are these ghost green superfood powders, especially in the flavor lime, though they do have other ones too. I guess there's like a guava berry. I haven't tried that one and I haven't tried the original, but the lime one is actually delicious. Like I look forward to drinking it in the morning. And I just really like these greens. I, I typically wouldn't buy greens, but I really like this brand because it has like your fruits and your vegetables in it. So it has like your antioxidant reds in it and your super green powder. So like your, um, like your kale powder, your matcha powder, and all those other things. And then I like how there's also, um, I'm not like the biggest fan of like probiotics in supplements because you just, they're, there's a really good chance that they're not doing anything for you. And it's a little like, you're like, what are you putting into your body kind of thing? I'm not gonna lie, like it definitely, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I've been taking these for like two months solid now and I've never had one issue with them. Never an upset stomach, no blockage in the digestive flow, if you know what I'm talking about. There's nothing negative that I could tell happening from drinking this greens powder other than I think it tastes delicious and there's not like a ton of calories or carbs in it and it just makes me feel like I'm, I'm checking off a little box for the day. So I don't know, I really like these. And the price is 45, but I still don't think that's bad compared to like other greens brands. So if you want something that actually tastes good, this is definitely my favorite greens brand. And I, I love ghost products. I drink a lot of them. I am a really big fan of creatine. Honestly, for me, like I've just been taking it so long that I don't even remember if I had a performance benefit from it. But I have noticed for myself personally, it's almost like, I think it helps me with recovery a lot. When I don't take my creatine at this point, like for a few days, I feel like I don't recover as well. And then once I get back into that habit of taking it, I feel really, really good. So that definitely helps with my performance. I just can't say for sure that these make me like a more explosive athlete or like better in the gym because quite frankly, I'm tired a lot. So it all depends on my mental state. But I do think that just based on like how studied this is that um, creatine is such a good supplement to take. And I really like the capsules because it's very hard to find a powder that actually disintegrates like in your water, but I do love the capsules. This is a little bit pricier, but I just think that the quality is there for um, the optimum nutrition one. So I love these ones. And then last but not least, these element uh, electrolyte powder packets. I'm just gonna skip over the keto thing. I don't know why they put that buzzword in there, but hey, whatever. But I really like these. I think the flavor is fantastic. And I love the amount of electrolytes that are actually in them. Like the thousand milligrams of sodium, 200 of potassium, and then 60 of magnesium. You just really don't get that from other companies. Even liquid IV and everything there, I check the back of them and they're just not, there's not a lot of electrolyte in them. So I really like that. I really like this brand because of that. And also there's no sugar in them. So I also enjoy that a lot. And I also, I just like love the flavor. I can't say I'm obsessed with the chocolate salt one, but the citrus one, the lemon habanero, the mango chili, the orange salt one is so good. And there also should be like variety packs on here. I see it up there. But all these flavors are really yummy. And like adding, like if you have like a 16 ounce water bottle, adding like half of it or even a little less really flavors the water so much that like it makes me want to pursue drinking more water throughout the day. And then like the added benefits of like having more electrolytes in your diet is awesome too. So this is definitely my favorite electrolyte powder. And I think the flavor is fantastic. And I think it's well worth the price. Anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope that you learned of some new products or maybe like I confirmed <laughs> some things for you that you weren't sure about buying or not. Not. All of the things I put on this video are my absolute favorites, things that I just keep repurchasing from Amazon. And again, the direct link is in my description for you guys. So it makes it really easy to shop on Amazon for them. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you can, please give it a like and subscribe to my page if you wanna see more videos like this from me or you're enjoying what you've been seeing so far. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video and hang out with me. And I hope to see you guys on the next one.